It's a good day to have a great day. Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gange here at CSU Pueblo's Thunderbolt Stadium celebrating the small school state championships. And that includes the kings of the 1A division, those Lyman Badgers. They came in today with 20 2-0 state football titles, including three of the last four. Going up against the challenging squad, the Ray Eagles, who haven't won a state title since 1993. And it started with those kids from Ray, a strong running game, an explosive passing attack. Casey Midcap to Chris Arambula, he was incredible. A lineman, though, back at you. Jordan Rockwell to Don Terrius Arnold in the end zone. Yes, sir. It was a competitive ball game really all day long until the end when Lyman, they showed their strength. Here's Michael Hoffman, the tip. Trayton marks the interception and Gabe Schubarth, he closed it out with a touchdown score. Badgers, they win 39 to 21, finish their season undefeated and are back on top as state champions. I'm looking at 1A state champions, baby. Yeah! Just redemption from last year, you know. We came up short and it just feels good to, you know, I feel like we made those seniors last year proud. It feels good to finally, it finally pays off, you know, all the hard work, so it feels pretty good. The Eaton Reds, two-time defending state champs because they've got ballers like senior quarterback Walker Martin rolling his way into the end zone for a touchdown score. And it looked like the Reds were cruising under the Pueblo moonlight. But say hi to Asai Delta and Asai Carroll followed with a nine-minute scoring drive. But the night was all about Eaton. Morgan Tribbett, the icer touchdown, helps Eaton get their third straight state title, 21-10. We've been doing this since we were little kids and I mean just to finally get it done the emotions are overwhelming it feels it feels great looking back at the days it's just sad thinking it's all over but I just want everybody to know I love these boys and I they're my ride or die guys I'm this one's meaningful for me Number two, Broomfield. Number 11, Erie. This one may have been the game of the season with some of the most explosive playmakers in Colorado. First off, that guy, Blake Barnett, the quarterback, playing defense, punches the ball out and recovers. He'd then lead the Tigers 95 yards down the field to take a 10-point lead into halftime. But don't forget about the Broomfield quarterback, Cole LaCrue. Three rushing touchdowns in the third quarter alone. This dude is so fired up. I love it right here, too. He spikes the ball on the ground. Refs don't really love that. Look at him go up to the official. Oh, my bad, my bad, sorry about that. Cole, he, he threw for 103 yards, ran for 142, and brought maximum electricity. This game came down to the final minutes. Barnett to star receiver Caleb Lettuce. Yes, sir, made it a 36-32 Broomfield lead. Now 20 seconds left. Erie in scoring range. This play was ruled a fumble, knocked out by Gio Toledo. The Eagles recover and win the ball game. Hey, Broomfield, you're moving on to the 4A state championship. That high-powered Broomfield offense will be going up against the vicious defense of the Loveland Red Wolves. How about Caden Stansberry? That's me, the sack and steal. And here's the big play that's taken Loveland back to the finals. Garrett Harstad, nobody can catch him. They win a final score 10 to seven. Hey, Loveland, you're moving on. 3A semis, Roosevelt and Green Mountain and the Rough Riders dominated. 30-3 victory, that's Bronco Hartson rolling into the end zone. They'll play Lutheran in the state title game. Hey, Roosevelt, you're moving on. 5A semifinals, Valor Christian and Ralston Valley. This game was all about the offense. Here's Logan Madden of Ralston to the man. Josh Rillos for the Mustang score. This game went all the way to double overtime. Here's Trey Stott of Valor forcing in for the score and the game-winning walk-off extra point by Jeremy Claycamp as the Valor Christian Eagles are heading back to the state final game. 42-41 victory. Hey, Eagles! You're moving on! Valor Christian and Cherry Creek will play each other in the 5A title game for the fourth time in the last five years. Cherry Creek took down Pine Creek with a whole lot of help from their guy, Ish CC. Three receiving touchdowns, connecting with Brady Bodica. He's been great for a while, but now Ish leveling up his game at the most important time. Here's Jordan Heron. The speed, the spin, the score. Bruins win 41-21. They are one game away from winning a historic fourth straight state title. Hey, Creek, you're moving on again. Uh, we just feeling ready. Uh, this was a good game. We just going in. We don't, uh, we don't really care who we play. We just locking in. Um, you know, trying to do what we uh, at Creek do. Just be a brotherhood, go work, uh, have a great week of practice. 
great game on Saturday, next Saturday. Hey, it's an awesome day to celebrate. I'm Scotty Gange. We'll see you next week for the final round of state football championships. 3A, 4A, and 5A. And we'll see you then, right here on the 9 News Prep Rally.